this in the address that you gave at Wheaton. You said much of what has been done by evangelical Christians is damaging our civic fabric and under undermining the public witness of Christianity. Can you elaborate on that for us? Because I don't think many Christians think that's what they're doing. They think that they're saving the civic fabric in which we're finding ourselves. And you're saying, no, 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 it's the opposite. Yeah, no, I think that's right. Um, th there are two elements to that. There's the civic fabric, and then there is, for those of us who are Christian, the, the witness, the public witness of Christianity. Um, so let, let me take both of them. The civic fabric um, is, I think, pretty self-evident. Uh, I think that Donald Trump and his movement, um, because of the ethos and the ethic that they embody have done tremendous damage to our civic fabric. Um, and, and I think this full out, all out assault on truth, this term people use, which is gaslighting, is tremendously disorienting and tremendously troubling. And I think that the divisions and the acrimony and the anger, um, not solely because of Donald Trump, again, I want to underscore what you said and what I said earlier, which is a lot of these trends and currents were in motion before he got there. But I think there's no question that he's accelerated them. And so the idea that Donald Trump is a solution or is a healing force for our civic fabric uh, or can bring a fractured country together uh, or he can restore respect for truth and decency and honor and integrity, I think that that's, that's just on his face absurd. It doesn't mean that there aren't a lot of people that believe it. Um, but I think that they've deluded themselves. I think some of them are cynical. I think some people do it because of a lot of different reasons. Um, but I take it that there are a lot of people who genuinely believe it. But the passion that you hold to, to, to a certain belief doesn't tell you whether that belief is true or not. You can... You can passionately believe a lot of things that are wrong and, de and destructive. So the idea that that the MAGA movement or that Donald Trump or what the, what the Republican Party represents today, and I say this as somebody who, as you mentioned, has worked in three Republican administrations, a senior advisor of George W. Bush, worked in the Reagan administration, worked with George W. Bush in his administration. So I've been a lifelong Republican. Um, so I had to break with a party that was not only one that I identified with, but that my career had been centered, centered on. Um, but I think that that party today and the way it's defined and, and the movement that defines it is doing huge damage to our civic, uh, fabric and the ethic of this country. Then there's the issue of the public witness. And I, I, uh, was on the West Coast a couple of years ago and visiting a pastor who was very influential in my own journey of, of faith when I was younger. Uh, his name is Carl Kopic. Um, and we were having breakfast uh, and I was asking uh, Carl, uh, who's no left-wing radical by, by any means, what was happening to, in terms of his observation about the political moment and its effect on the Christian witness, particularly young people. And he said, Pete, it's a generational catastrophe that a lot of young people are seeing what's unfolding. They're seeing the white evangelical movement align itself to Donald Trump and his movement. And they think it's a joke. They, they as I said earlier, um, these are my words, not Carl's, but that this is a kind of moral, moral freak show that there is hypocrisy, that there's double standards, that um, the will to power, the ends justify the means, um, is, is what's, uh, you know, what's, what's needed. So if you're a person um, of, who's not a follower of Jesus, or you are, and you're young, and you're searching around, it matters a lot what the community is that you're being asked to become a part of. And I think for a lot of young people and a lot of people who aren't that young, they're deeply disenchanted and discouraged by what they're saying. And they're saying, you know what? This, this argument about faith and the fruit of the spirit that's supposed to characterize 
followers of Jesus, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control. That's just for Sunday. You guys walk out of the church, you walk out of those doors, you do whatever the hell you want and you rationalize it. And you not only rationalize it, you justify it with the scriptures. You actually think that your Lord and your faith is, is commanding you causing you to be these kind of instruments of division and cruelty and crudity, the assault on truth, uh, and all of the rest. And when people see that, it doesn't matter whether N.T. Wright makes a really strong case on page 538 of Resurrection of the Son of God, because most people are going to, a large factor in whether they're going to become people of faith or join a community of faith is are these people that I can be around whom I respect, that I feel loved by, understood by, and that embody and exemplify a kind of integrity in their life that I want to be a part of. And if that's not what's happening and they feel like, man, I don't want to be a part of that group, um, then the chances of of bringing them into the church or into the faith is just a lot, lot harder. So the irony of this, I think it's a tragic irony. There's a lot of people who, as I said earlier, would absolutely say with conviction that what matters most is their faith and the evangelization of their faith to go out and make believers, you know, of all nations that by their politics, that they are actually undermining the very thing that they say they that they, that they cherish the most, and they're not aware of it. And in many cases, if that's pointed out to them, um, the the response is 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 to lash out and and to get defensive. Um, and um, so that I, it's it's just you know for me the most personally painful part of this what's what's happening these days is the fact that the Christian witness is being, you know, terribly damaged in America.